In the spring of 1945, U.S. Army Air Force's intelligence officials obtained unanticipated reconnaissance photographs. Photographs were taken from Tachikawa, who revealed a brand new unidentified engineer aircraft, unidentified Boeing B-17 Flying Fortress, thought to have been used for research. It was only one of many examples of how the Japanese utilized the legendary American bomber to their advantage during World War II. On December 7, 1941, 12 Boeing B-17 Flying Fortresses from the Reconnaissance Squadron left for Philippines from Hamilton Base, California. When they were flying through Pearl Harbor, what they thought was that they were receiving a salute, but in fact they got attacked, and two of the Boeing B-17 were completely destroyed. Two squadrons of the B-17 from Clark Field Base in Philippines were sent 600 miles south from the base. In order to counter the Japanese attack on the Pearl Harbor, General Lewis H. Bredson, he wanted to send his aircraft for patrolling flights. General Douglas MacArthur disapproved of the general's plan to use his flying fortresses to strike Japanese airfields in Formosa. When reports of an airstrike started to arrive, arguments broke out. B-17s accompanying Warhawk fighters were destroyed by Japanese bombers before the sortie could be authorized. The Forest Air Force lost half of its aircraft in the first raid alone, and the majority of them were destroyed. Only 12 operational B-17 from the 19th Group remained three days later and they were then transferred to Darwin, Australia. The field was then left at the mercy of the Japanese. In order to uncover Japanese technological advancements, a team of experts from GIKEN, the Army Aviation Technical Research Agency, arrived in Philippines. From the debris, they found hints of E-models of B-17, but there were no E-models present at the Clark base. Japanese had modified the D-models using the turbochargers. After gathering the different parts from the debris, Japanese started working on their own B-17 and soon after they built their own first prototype. By March 1942, Japanese took over the Java Island, Indonesia from the Americans. Americans while fleeing thought they were leaving only scrap behind. Japanese, however, found 15 E-models wreckage which helped them in further developing their B-70. Japanese took in locals who were working for the Allied forces to work for them and solve the mysteries of B-17. They also found a nearly repairable B-17E as well. When an aviation journalist visited Java Island base, he discovered that the Japanese had superb repair facilities given the circumstances. Another Japanese journalist wrote, as quote, They have refined the subsystems to such a degree that a minimum of controls are needed in the cockpit. This function assists in the simplicity of flight controls and enables the pilot to focus on other duties that may be crucial in battle scenarios. By the end of 1942, Japanese refabricated two B-17s and tested them. They were then sent to specialists in aeronautical engineering for further improvements. They also got hold of Norton bombsite and after tests, Japanese came to a conclusion that their way of using it was far more effective than Americans. And so, Japanese created the Nakajima G-8 N-bomber which was an improved version of the B-17. Although they managed to perfect the design elements of the B-17s and armaments and guns, they could not produce an engine and turbocharger as developed by the Americans. However, they perfected the fire control system. They even created an automated gun sight system and improved the performance. However, 
They understood that they could not compete with the Americans due to lack of resources, insufficient supplies, and poor design in many parts. Due to quick conclusion of the war, the project was soon abandoned. Two models were sent to Fusa Air Base for testing, and in 1944, one B-17 had an accident and was grounded. It is assumed that the fortress seen in reconnaissance photos at the Ogawa airport was this damaged aircraft. In May 1945, following a photo reconnaissance mission close to the Japanese capital, intelligence officials were shocked over a mysterious aircraft that looked to be four-engine bomber of transport was captured on camera at the enemy's Army's Aviation Technological Research Institute, Tachikawa home base. But till the end of the war, B-29s were harassing the Japanese aviation industry and preventing the production of aircraft. Further analysis revealed that the aircraft had a wingspan of about 104 feet and was subsequently given the code name Tachikawa Field 104. There are now relatively less clues as to the whereabouts of many of the fortifications that were taken. <laughs>